Structure Lebohang Maile visited the Tambo Memorial Hospital. Our reporter Mulemo Wa Onemoto has more on the story. Good afternoon, uh, Mulemo. What's the latest on your side? Good afternoon. Yes, indeed, we are coming live to you from the Tambo Memorial Hospital. As you know, that it also, you know, has suffered some structural damages. And uh, as you recall, on Sunday when the health uh, minister, uh, you know, uh, giving a, a detailed, uh, uh, you know, explanation of how, uh, you know, his toe went when he visited visited the hospital. He indicated that the areas which uh, suffered, you know, uh, the damage the most uh, is the, uh, the the emergency unit as well as uh, the accident unit. But just to, you know, get more details on that, I'm now joined by the MEC for Human Settlement, Lebohang uh, Maile, who also visited the hospital today to just tell us uh, the purpose for his visit today here. Uh, thank you very much for having us. I came here. Uh, to make an assessment of the infrastructure because uh, my portfolio includes infrastructure. So it's human settlement and infrastructure. Uh, we are responsible in the province for the entire infrastructure. So uh, as the minister said the other day, it is casualty emergency unit and uh, theatre uh, ward that was affected. Uh, you also had the uh, X-ray ward and the antenatal ward. And the damages were um, limited to the roof, to the ceilings, the windows, and the doors. Uh, there are mechanical-related um, uh, uh, damages, which requires about 250000 to fix. There's electrical-related damages, with re which requires about $18 million rent to fix. Uh, we've already appointed um, a contractor that is fixing doors and windows that were broken. Uh, we will be finalizing the appointment of the other contractors because we have been able to now quantify and understand the extent of the damage. Our engineers have been on site and uh, we can confirm that the, uh, the structural integrity of the hospital has not been compromised because we were worried and panicking about that. Uh, because when we were here on the first day of the uh, incident, we were told that uh, at some point there are certain parts of the hospital shook a bit. So we thought uh, it could have affected the structural integrity of the hospital, but fortunately not. Um, MEC, talking about the the, 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 the structure itself, um, have you been able to also you know, check uh, some of the wards where some of the patients who are still hospitalized here? You know, ah. Yes, uh, one of them is the casualty ward uh, where the ceiling was damaged. The ceiling is completely fixed. We checked the roof. It has not been uh, uh, compromised. Um, uh, the antenatal uh, ward is still being attended to. Uh, we went there. The contractor is on site. We are able to uh, see them doing the work. So we are satisfied with the progress that we are making because we are on course and we have been able to respond uh, uh, promptly and speedily. And of course, uh, the, uh, the minister as well uh, highlighted that um, the report, the, 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 the high level uh, report, would actually be uh, released or is expected perhaps uh, later in uh, this week. Uh, does it mean that um, you know, it would have uh, all the necessary you know, elements that? you know, are needed to, to, to be uh, addressed? Yes, certainly. Uh, there will be a report, uh, for instance, from the police point of view, the emergency services point of view, a report from the clinicians in the hospital. Uh, there must be a report from ourselves uh, responsible for infrastructure. Uh, this morning there was a team at half past 11, a, a team meeting with the acting DG of the province from the different... Um, uh, angles and sectors to compile that report so that uh, we have a comprehensive uh, report and uh, we can be guided uh, properly in terms of how we must uh, proceed. Thank you so very much, sir. Um, there was uh, infras, uh, MEC for Human Settlements, uh, Lebohang Maile, there, 
uh, explaining that uh, the you know structural engineers are still you know at work uh, at the hospital uh, also highlighting the fact that the integrity of the the, the 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 structure of the hospital has not been compromised and that as you recall the minister as well highlighted the fact that by the end of this week uh, the comprehensive uh, report uh, in terms of uh, you know the assessment on the structural uh, damages uh, will be released. Thank you so much. That is our reporter, Mulema Waone Motwa. Moving on, 2022 has been interesting in the political landscape. The SABC News Political Desk has put together a highlight of some of the most memorable moments this year. SABC News reporter Kenny Mapanga filed this report. The Political Year in Review. 2022 